what we are seeing is the posterior abdominal wall these are the two kidney this one is the right kidney and this one is the left kidney this is superior aspect this is inferior aspect i am standing on the right side this is here is the right renal vein and this one is the left renal vein this is abdominal aorta and this one is the inferior vena cava on the right side here is the ventral branches of the abdominal aorta this is the celiac trunk the branch of which is the splenic artery this one is the common hepatic and this is left gastric artery and here the second branch is the superior mesenteric artery just above the left renal vein this is the left renal vein and third one what we are seeing here is the inferior mesenteric artery this is inferior mesenteric artery and uh, here is the inferior mesenteric vein this is inferior mesenteric vein which opens into the left renal vein okay and what we are seeing here these are the psoas major muscle on both side this is the psoas major muscle the nerve running over the ventral aspect of the psoas major muscle this is genito femoral nerve and what we are seeing on the lateral aspect this thick nerve this is the femoral nerve okay and here is the iliacus muscle and the nerve running over the iliacus muscle this one is the lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh okay and what we are seeing here this one is the abdominal aorta which bifurcate at the region of alpha vertebra and give rise to two common iliac artery this is inferior vena cava which uh, which is formed by the union of two common iliac vein at the level of l5 vertebra okay and this is what we are seeing here this one is the stomach this is also fagus and this one is the stomach and when we elevate the this one is the right kidney you elevate the right kidney what we are seeing here this one is the iliohypogastric nerve and this one is the ilioinguinal nerve above the iliohypogastric here is the this one is the subcostal nerve this one the, this glistening structure is the subcostal nerve 